Okay, Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi Yisai. We're in the week of uh, Shlach, the, past, the Sedra of the Meraglim. So let us talk about Shlach and the Meraglim. You know, in the Pasha of Meraglim, the word Meraglim is never used. Isn't that something strange? Do you ever wonder why Meraglim is never used in the Pasha of Meraglim? In the Haftorah, when Yeshua sends two people, then they're called Meraglim spies, because they came at night, and they snuck around like spies. But here, they didn't sneak around, they didn't go at night, they were there for 39 days. They were like, uh, dressed like everybody else, they were undercover agents, so there's no reason for Meraglim. They're not, they were no spies, but they didn't look like spies. Looked like, uh, to the giants, they looked like little, little tiny creatures. Uh, didn't look like spies. Isn't that strange also in the Pasha of Shemitah, the word Shemitah is never used in the Pasha of Shemitah? And the third thing, how come in the Pasha of Soto, the word Soto is never used? Let me tell you why. In Pasha of Soto, the Soto is never used because there never was a Soto. Because if a woman did cheat it on her husband, she would admit it, the marriage would be over, she's a low life, and she's a Russian, she gets no Kasuva, she's a divorce penniless. Because if a woman is guilty, but she may not be so stupid to have herself explode, because when the water goes into her, eyeball bulge out, and the top of her body and the bottom of her body separate. Her bed then, her belly explodes. No one's going to go through that. Like if you're... Mm, she, had, um, she may have done an Aver due to Yates of Hara, but she has enough seichel not to self-explode, self-destruct. Uh, so it happened once a case where two sisters were identical twins, and one did, it, uh, uh, did something against her husband, Sotom, and she sent her sister to testify and make believe she's the Soto. And of course, the water didn't work or she's innocent. And so um, she came home and the guilty one, who looked just like this one, uh, said, thank you so much. And she gave her a kiss. And when she gave her a kiss, she breathed, says the Gemara, the water that she drank. And that water went into her. That the breath went into her. And her body exploded. But the, in the process of the Besden, it never, ever happened that a Soto... She may have been a Sota, but she admitted it, and then she's not a Sota, she's a no Ephes, she's an adulterer. So she's destroyed, and so is the Noaf. Uh, the two people who had relations are both uh, destroyed, and their Betan uh, explodes, and, um, uh, but that never happened. If she is uh, going into a private place with a man, and her husband has, has no aid, but he, he thinks so, she's a Prutzel, she's a loose woman. If she actually did something, and uh, he suspects she did. He takes her to bed, and then he makes her drink the water. And uh, she's innocent; nothing happens. And she more she gets more beautiful than before. And if she's guilty, she her body expands and explodes. And if they're caught in the act by two Adam, then that the male is called a noaf, and she's called a noephes. The bur the bones are burnt. The 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 misa is shreifa, burnt. They pour hot lead down her throats. So you have a prutsa, a sota. And a um, and a no a for no f is adulterers, but it never happened to Sotom. And it never happened that a day the the Bezdin would make a shemitah year and let unless the year has shin mem tes hay days three fifty four. That's how many days there are in a lunar year. Uh, three fifty four. Every once in a while they add a leap year of thirty days or three eighty four. So if you have the cycle of 19 years, Master Cotton of the moon goes back to its original position every 19 years. In those 19 years, you have seven leap years of 384 days, and 12, 7, 12 is 19, and 12, uh, 354. If you add them all together and, and uh, average it with 19, you get 365. So the average year is 365. So, by the way, if you have a Jewish birthday or a Hebrew birthday, so how old are you? 30 years old on June 5th? Or is it Tebe's the, the 9th? I mean, hello, well, when, where is your birthday? Like my birthday is um, the 14th of Sivan or June 15th. Every 19 years they come together, those two dates, you know. But how can you have two birthdays? Like the 14th of Sivan and three weeks later, June 15th. I had my birthday already. June 15th didn't even come yet. So when are you a year older? Ha <laughs> ha, when are you a year older? How old are you? I mean, how old are you? 
Now, what do you mean two birthdays? A Jewish one and a solar one and a, and a lunar one. Uh, what do you mean? How can you have two birthdays? How old are you? answer is, the only date that matters is the solar. Because the day, even in a lunar year, after 19 years, the average is 365. And the whole yom, all the Yom Tovim are based on the, the leap years that you add in every two or three years, so he shouldn't be behind 11 days, because you know the solar and lunar calendar are off by 11 days. 354, 365. So it's less the lunar, so by 11. And next day, another, next year, another 11. And the next year, another 11. You're 33 days behind after three years, so you put in a month. So we make it work that the both calendars are in sync. So the real date is the solar date. Even the Ketores is divided in 365. Karm Tomid in 365. The Jewish year, eventually, the lunar, lunar year, even that eventually comes out to 365 average. So your real birthday is the English birthday, the, uh, the solar. That's when you're a year older, for the year is 365. Even the, our calendar, we adjust it every three years to make it come out to average of 365. Anyhow, Shemitah can never come out on a, on a year that has 13 months because that's too much torture for the farmers, 13 months. So it's only Shemitah year, when it's 354. They never will make it on a, on a year that's not 354. Uh, two years ago, 2011, Tavshin Ayin Aleph, it was 13 months. Yeah, because it's not bad run by Bezden. We have a printed Luach, set Luach. That's not the normal way to do it. When Mashiach comes, it'll go back to the Adem, testifying they saw the new moon, and then Bezden will decide which year gets a leap year and which not. So a fixed uh, calendar, that's not the... And this is arbitrary, this thing. So the 19, 1800 years ago, Hillel, the second Hillel, made a fixed calendar, and so forth, and therefore two years ago, Shemitah had 13 months. And nowadays Shemitah is the Rabbanon. Some say the Raisa, some say the Rabbanon. So, um, so Shemitah is only in the year of 354, not to torture the farmers. And so to no woman ever, ever, ever went through the whole process. She may have been uh, suspected, but if she doesn't drink the water, she's not a sotom. And that never happened. And Maraglim, they didn't go as Maraglim. They went as regular people. They were undercover agents. They looked like everybody else. Let's take a look at the Parsha of Shalach. By the way, I want to tell you something. You see this, TorahAnytime.com? We have three million hours already of Shurim. 350 Magide Shi'urim and two and a half million Shi'urim. Now, the, the, the Torah any time is in dire financial straits. We need a thousand people to give just $36 and we'll continue functioning. A thousand people to give $36. We need that to keep functioning. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Let us go. Now to Shalach. Shalach Korach Hukas. Each one has a ches in it. Shalach. They were chotim, these liars. They didn't tell any lies. They said God's incapable of driving out the giants. But what they told was true. They're giants. But they're liars that God's incapable. Shalach is about chotim, sinners. Korach is about a sinner, a chotah. He talked against Moshe Abenu. And Chukas. They're, you're a chote if you eat carbonos or go into the base of English when you're tummy. Then, ches, ches, ches. Then you have korach hukas bolak. Each one has a kuf. Klola, korach. Curse Moshe. And he got a curse. He fell, he went in the, into the grave alive. Klola on him. Chukas, it's a klola if a person is metame kachim. And Bullock wanted to curse Cloud Israel, but he couldn't. Hashem forced him. Now, that's the second thing. The third, the fourth, the third thing is these three, all these four, five, the three, four sevens follow the theme of Lush and Hara. Miss uh, Halosva had Miss Own in him, complainers. They wanted meat. And we didn't like Mon Men Hashemayim. Basically, they had more meat than any nation in the world. That was a code word for Arayos. They didn't like the restrictions of Arayos, so they called it meat. Then came Miriam at the end of last week. Uh, she spoke against her brother, Lashon Hara. Miss Oni and them talked Lashon Hara. They, they said, God, is, uh, we don't like what he gives us. Man, we want meat. And Miriam talked Lashon Hara against her brother. Miragam talked Lashon Hara against the land. 
Korach talk Lashon Har against Moshe, and Bullock and Ben Bilam, they talk Lashon Har against the Jews. They wanted to, but Hashem forced them not to. So let's take a look here. Yom Ri Davashem El Moshe, Leim Shlach Lecha and Lashon, send for yourself people. Lecha, I didn't ask you to do it, but you can, I'm not against it. But if you want to, you can. Shlach Lecha, if you want to, I'm not against it. A Nashim man. The Asuras Eretz Canaan Nation tour. Spy out or tour. Yesur, it's Eretz Canaan Nation. No saying the Bnei Yisrael that I'm giving to the Bnei Yisrael. You can read it. No sign. Already gave it to the others. What do you have to check it out for? I told you it's the best place on earth. You want to do it? Okay, you're on your own. The Ish Echad Ish Echad Lamata. One man, one man per shade. And Tishlechu, uh, you shall send Kol Nasi Bohem, a Nasi amongst them. Everyone was a prince. Everyone was, what kind of a prince were they? It says here, Rashi B'nei Yisrael Heimo. They were the B'nei Yisrael Heimo. They were Hey Mem Hey. Hey, Hey Mem. 40 and 10 is 50. These and the Siam were the Rashi and the CA. The, 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 the judges over 50. There was, remember, Yisro set up a judge, a um, public ju, uh, judiciary system, a sare, a, a, a sar of 10, a sar of 20, a sar of 50, a sar of 100. They were the sare meos. Then the, the princes over, uh, over, over May, 50. Hey, ma, hey, ma'am, hey. That's 50. They were the Dayanim over 50 people. So that's why it says hey, ma, they were. Everyone was a prince. Then, then there were the the Dayanim over fifty. He sent them from Midbar Paran, where they where they were fruitful and multiplied there in the, in the Midbar. There very very many people were born in in, in forty years. Six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty died between twenty and sixty, and six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty got born. Almost the exact same sense as at the end of the 40 years, like in the beginning. Rosh Ben Ayi saw Hamo. Hamo, there it is. Hey, Mem, Hey. 50. They were the Sari Meos. Sari Hamishim, the head of the 50s. Elish Mosam. Then he goes through their names. The worst one of all was Gadi Ben Susi. It says in Rashi, their names are disgusting names. Here's one example Gadi Ben Susi, a Gadi, a goat, the son of a horse. He was the one that gave the other nine of the ten Rishoyim, uh, uh, told them to speak Lashon Hara against God's inability to drive out the giants. And he was the worst of all. Gadi ben Susi. Yeah. And Eilish Mosam, then at the end it tells you, these are the names. Sheshalach Moshe, Lasur Zoris. Moshe sent to tour out the land. Yikro Moshe. Oh boy, I gotta turn that light on. Because it's good to have a little light, right? Torah, Torah, Torah is light. For your English Moses Menashe Shir Shalach Moshe, the Sura Sof Yikam Moshe Yeshua Benun Yehoshea. So he gave Yeshua bracha. He took instead of Hoshe and put a Yud in front, part of God's name, Yehoshua. What does that mean? Says Rashi, Hashem Ka Yud K. God should help you from the Eitz of the Meragim. If they decide to bring back a bad report, you should have enough self-confidence to go against them. Why do you need that? Because he was a yes man of Moshe. He was Moshe's right hand man, the shortest Moshe. He never disagreed with Moshe. Since you're trained to always say yes, 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 of course Moshe represents absolute emes. Maybe, maybe, maybe you won't have self-confidence as enough chizuk and other, enough confidence to go against these miraglim if they decide to talk bad. So he gave him a bracha. And um, where did he get that yud from? Hashem changed Sarai to Sarai, took the yud off of the end of of, um, of uh, Sarai, but put a hey, but the Sarai complained against God, I'm ten and hey is a five. He said, don't worry about it, you were at the end of a lady's name, now I'm going to put you in the beginning of a man's name. So, yeah, oh sure. So he gave him that name, Vayishlach. Oh, some Moshe Lassur, so ours can have Yomalem, Aluza, Benegav, go up in the Negev here. The southern part of the country, which was Hebron, as you know, is very rocky. Aluza, Benegav, Aluza, Elohar, go up the mountain. Reason is ours, take a look at that land. Mahi, what about it? 
Look at the people are there, strong or weak. Amadhu or Ra, are they allowed in them or a few of them? Mohars, what about the land? Ashia, who Yoshib? Well, that he's living there. Atova, he is a good land. And Ra was a lean. Mohar, what about the cities? Ashia, who Yoshib, and that they live in. Bohena, Abamachinim, are they open? No wall? Are they fearless people? Over Mifsarm, are they walled in? Are they afraid of attack? Umohar, what about the land? Hashmein or he? Is it rich? Irozo or not fertile? Ayesh, but is there a tree there? You know, on a boy's side, there's even one tree in Manhattan. <coughs> Doesn't mean eights. <coughs> Just like a tree shades everything underneath it. Is there a tzaddik there that shades them? That will protect them? We're talking about the man Eov. Eo was landing, landing, living in the land of Uts. So the Gemara says, Eitz, Uts, same thing. Ayin, Vav Tzadi, Ayin Tzadi. Uh, is there, he's still living? He could, their schus could make it that we couldn't beat them. Uts. Eo came to the land of Uts. That's where the Greeks got the wizard of Az. That's uh, Eo. Uts, Az. Is there Eo still living there? So, um, Chazakta may be strong, with the Kachtim of Prior, take some of the fruit. It's not your neighbor, it's your country. This was the end of the harvest, uh, well, the beginning of harvest of the grapes at the end of the summer. Tamil, you know, the fruits come out at the end. Vayalu, they went up, and Yosuris, Eris, Horis, they toured the land, Midbar Sin from the southeast. Went up the Mediterranean all over the top and came down the yard. And they made, went clockwise. They went across the bottom, up the Mediterranean, all way up Lebanon, because Lebanon is part of Eretz Israel. All of Lebanon is part of Eretz Israel. All the way up, all the way up. Made a cross over to almost to Damascus, almost. Came down the yard. And mid by sin, Adrachov to the northwest. Lavo Chamos to come to the town of Chamos, which is called Intayak. In, in Antioch, which is near Syria. Yalu and Negev, they went up to the Negev, and that's what he told them to do, and they went up to the Negev, by Yobo, at Hebron, they came to Hebron, the bottom part of the country. Shom Achimon, Shish, Sheisha, Vesalmai. There were the three giants there. Sheisha, Achimon, Sheisha, Vesalmai. Elite, they hold Anak, the, the children of the Anak, the giant. Some say the man's name was Arba, Mr. Arba. Kiryas Arba is Hebron, you know. That was the city of Arba and his three sons. These are the four giants. The four giants. Kiryas Arba, the city of the four. Hebron, these Chaverim, these people that equal greatness. Kiryas Arba, the city of Mr. Arba, or this four giants. It's called Hebron, Chaverim. There were other giants buried there, spiritual giants, Adam. Avram Yitzchok Yaakov and their wives, eight people. Hmm, interesting, right? Sheva Shonim did the soul of Nate saw him, it's fine. Hebron was built seven times as great, as strong. Shonim here does not mean years, it means seven times as strong as the Soan, a city of Mitzrayim, called Soan Mitzrayim. But Yovo al Nachal, they came to the valley of Eshkol. The valley of Eshkol, cluster valley. Arya Kaplan calls it a cluster value. They came to where these jumbo grapes were. The Yechurusu Bisham Gizemora, they cut a branch. The Eshkel Anavim, it had one bunch of grapes. The Yisab Amot, they put it on a, on a pole, Bishnayim, two people. One pole with two people. Some say no. A big mat, and on either side was a pole. And either, there was two poles, and at the end of each pole was two ends. There were eight people carrying it. Two, four, six, eight. Oh. That's how big the Eshkol was. Then they took one bunch of Ramon and pomegranates, or meant to aim the figs. Now, how big was the Eshkol? Now, you'd like to know how big the Eshkol was? Let me tell you. The Eshkol was 960 pounds. Hmm? How do I know that? Because it says, when the Jews came to the, at the end of 40 years, they came to the Yarab day, and each one picked out, picked up uh, 12 princes of the Shvatim, picked the rock out, and they put rocks, 12 rocks, Moshe wrote the whole Torah on it, in 70 languages. 
that means the Targum of Yonis who says one language, Lashon Kodesh, which is clear in any of the seven la- 70 languages. He wrote the whole Torah in the 12 rocks. How big was the rock? As each rock was as big as one of this Eshkol here. 960 pounds, how do you know? Because it says that the, the rock was 40 so'a. And so'a, if you know, is 3 gallons. 40 times 3 is 120 gallons. And uh, 120 times 8, because that's how much a gallon of water weighs. So it's 960 pounds. One gallon weighs 8 pounds of water. 3 gallons is 24, no? Times 40 is 960. Now, each man, picked, says Rashi, can pick up one-third of his body weight. So each one uh, picked up 120 because their body weight was 360. How do you know it was 120? Because 8 times 120 is 960. 8 times 120 pounds, the Eshkol weighed 960, could carry uh, by 8 people, 960 divided by 8 is 120. And that and a person could pick up one-third, as a Rashi, of his weight, so they weighed 360. Every one of them weighed 360 pounds, they were big people. And every person can pick up one third of his body weight, so one third of 360 is 120, and eight times uh, 120 is 960, so the buns of grapes weigh 960 pounds. Oil weighs more, milk weighs more, uh, honey weighs more, but water is eight pounds. Then it says the dimensions of the soil is 400 parasol by 400 parasol. You know that's an exaggeration. But that means every parasol is three mil. 1,200 mil by 1,200 mils. Four, eight, 1,200 mil by 1,200 mils. That's, that's a lot. That's a tremendous lot. That's 800 miles by 800 miles. Yeah, you know, that's a good one. Anyhow, let's go back to the puzzle. Um, that place was called Nachal Eshkol, the valley of, the, of Eshkol. And of course, it was way, we already called that at the time of Avram, because Avram had three, 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 three friends under Eshkol and Mamre. So it's already known as uh, Nachal Eshkol. Al uh, Odus Eshkol, because of the Eshkol, Shekarsu Misham Benesah. They say the reason was because the Benesah called cut it Eshkol. Therefore, it's called Eshkol. But the Torah says it's already called Eshkol from the time of Rome. So what does that mean? Yeah, as Eshkol happened to be the great uh, man, the friend of Avram. They, 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 and, and so now it got officially the name. Mm hmm. Now, they weren't ashamed, they were spies, right? So aren't you ashamed to carry uh, f- uh, eight men carrying two poles and a mat in between where there's a, one bunch of graves, 960 pounds? Aren't you ashamed? No. They had no busha. They were totally convinced God would give them this land. So how did they turn so rotten? How did they turn so rotten? The land, they are convinced God would give them this land. But they say at this time, God's not capable of get those, getting those people out of here. Want to know why that? Watch what they said. Look, they said, uh, that whatever they said was true. But they said God's incapable of um, getting rid of these giants. A Yeshua, they return. Me tour orders from the tour of the land. Me case of after 30 days, which means after 39 days. After 40 days, it means 39. The punishment was, of course, had to spend for every day they spoke bad about the country and spent a year in the midbar, 39 more years because this was the day after the first year. The yellows of Yehovah and they came back on Moshe Valaran, they'll call it Aspen Esau, El Midbar Paran, to the Midbar Paran, Kadesha, which is in town, town called Kadesh Barnea. It says, V'yasuru, Lasur, Lasur, V'yisru, Matur, nine times the expression of tour. Tour, to tour, to spy out the land, tour is 606. Nine times six oh six is fifty four fifty four, which is nine and nine is eighteen. Not four, nine nine is eighteen. Eighteen and one eight is nine. They said every single word Evans. But they said God's not capable of getting, dislodging these people. Ooh. Koyach Hashem doesn't have the Koach. They spent twenty eight words describing this. Um Kadesha, Yeshuvu, Yeshiva Osam Dover, and they return. To the Jewish people, a report. The Alcala Ada, the Yarum, as pre they said, Look, look at the fruits these people eat. Look! And they spoke to them, to the Jewish people, and they said, The first two is Kaleb and Yeshua. The only two that remained loyal, the rest were traitors. The Yisapru first came to two loyal ones. The Yisapru, Lo, the Yomru. Born the Lords, we came to the land of Shir that you sent us. 
The gums are lost all over the wash. It's true. Flows with milk and honey. It's fabulous. The zeperio, this is the fruits. And then the ten shut cut shut up Kolev and Yehud and and Yeshua. They said Ephes, zero. Don't trust them. Everything they say is wrong. Zero, it's worth zero. Or Ephes means however. Ki also on Hayoshim Ba'ordas. The people are very powerful that live in that land. Ba'orda Bitsuros Gedolus Maod and the cities have circular walls. Gedolus very big, very big skyscrapers. Kamilida and Okarina show me saw the giants there. Amalek, the Amaleki, the bloodthirsty Amaleki, Yoshiver is negative there in the south, where we are, above us on the south. The three of the seven uh, Arab nations, uh, no, Canaanite nations, Yoshibohar, they live in the mountains. Canaanite and the other nation, Canaanite, Yoshib al Yamba, Yadi Yardi, by the Mediterranean and by the, by the Yardi. No one can enter east and west, no one can come from the south. I'm sh- and up there in the mountains in Lebanon is the is the um, uh, the uh, Yoshi Bahar. You can't get into this country. Miyahas Kolev is on Kolev shut them up. He said, "Quiet! I want to have something to say." He shut them up. El Moshe, because they were attacking Moshe verbally. So how could they shut them up when they already realized that Kolev and, and Yeshua were ultra orthodox right wing fanatics? Because it says in Rashi. He said he got their attention by. They thought that he, they're gonna. He's gonna criticize Moshe. So they said, "Let me tell you something else that doubt is Mr. Am Ben Amram. What he did to us." Mm. So they shut up. Listen, maybe they figured he, gonna, he's gonna criticize Moshe. Sovach, he yelled and he said. This and is all, this, only this what Ben Amram did, did to us, which means misleading us. Hashemayu the person who's listening, says Rashi, thought that he's going to criticize Moshe. al Moshe and since they were thinking that these people were going to criticize uh, uh, Moshe because they were two of the twelve, shut kukulam, they all shut up. Complaints against Moshe. You know, he, you know what Yoshua said, uh, Kalev said when when he, when, he, when he got their uh, 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 their, their attention. Hello, Kordo Lona said, "Yom, he split the yam." The hurry, Lona Samon, he brought down the mon. But here, he is Lona Slav, he brought us the quail. He can do anything. We can't go against him. Ooh. Mm. But Yahas Kolev is on. He shut them up. El Moshe, Yom, Olo. Now that we can go up there, Olo, we said it with a vav, is with a hey. With God's help, hey, God's, we can go up there. The rationals who will drive them out. Kiyocho Nuchalonu. We can do it. It's very capable. But Noshim Shalu Yimo and the other ten who went up with him, Omru, they said Lo Nuchalonu. We can't go up. El Ha'om to the people. Kichazikum Mimanu. They're too strong for us. And the Gemara tells us they said me man nu, but put the dot not after the vav, but on top of the vav. Me man no, they're even stronger than God. Now, the Baal of us cannot go in there and get his kalim out. If you have bad tenants and you can't get rid of them, and you want to take out some of the refrigerator or the furniture you put there, you can't come in as the Baal of us and take out the your, your kalim. God cannot even take out those people from Ez Canaan. Me man no, the stronger than he is. The Ocean of Divas Artists. And they brought out a very bad court at Babylon. She told him about that they toured El Bedei Yisrael Leim Horus and Shabbat and Bala Suro. So Eretz, you know the land we toured Eretz or Chelus Yisrael. You're dying right and left over there. It's a land that eats up its inhabitants. Wherever we come, we saw funerals. Of course, Hashem made it like that. That day they came. Eo the tzaddik, what they call Eitz, the wizard of Utz Avaz, he died that day. Yes, to distract the people so they can look around and check the country. God is doing them a favor. They look at it like a complaint. They're burying people. Everyone went to the to the to the Levaya of Eo. Millions of thousands of people. All the people we saw there, Anshimidas. They're titans. They're tremendous. How big were they? Forty-eight feet tall. It's because Gemara says Anshimidos. He says, uh, they tell you how big Goliath was. Goliath was twice the size of a man, 12 feet. And they were four times Goliath's size, 48 feet. 
Shomayinus had a feeling, we saw the giants. Bnei Anok, the children of the original giants. Men had a feeling from those who fell down at my separations. We learned about that in Bereshit. We were in their eyes like grasshoppers. So we were in, we were in their eyes. We were in our eyes to them like grasshoppers. So we were in their eyes. How do you know? Yeah, you were like grasshoppers. Maybe you're like an ant. Less than a grasshopper. That's if you don't have any self-confidence. You think you're nothing. Because you have no self-confidence. Why didn't they say Namalim, or ants? The answer is a Jew doesn't want to compare himself to a Tomei Sheretz. So the smallest kosher sheretz is a chagav. And number two, a chagav, a hulk, a, um, a gvesam, does damage to your property with his mouth. That's exactly what they were. They destroyed Jewish people's trust in Moshe. They did it with their mouth by talking Lush and Horeb. Kiso Seedo, even the Sanhedrin, picked up their voice and they let out screams that were crying. They cried on that night, famous night. That was Tishabab. Because it says in Rashi, you're crying for nothing. I'm going to give you some day, one day, something to cry about. So the first base of English was destroyed on Tishabab. And the second base of English was destroyed on Tishabab. 490 years later. 70 and 420, 490 years later. And Golas Forad in 1492 was Tishwa. And the First World War started in 1914 on Tishwa. Tishwa of 9th day of the 11th month of Elul. 9 11. Hmm. We had 9 11 2000 years ago. Tisha, 9 of. Of is the 11th, Elul is the 12th. 9-11 was Tishwa, and the second Tishwa was 9-11, and the First World War started on 9-11, and, uh, the, uh, and the and the Gorash Sephora was 9-11. America had 9-11 very late, we had a thousand years ago, and when you're in trouble in America, what number do you call 9-11? Isn't that interesting? All right. When you know El Moshe Alarm, they complained against Moshe and, Aaron and the whole Jewish people, even the Chashuvim. They were so convinced these Moragnim were right. And they said against them, um, and they said against Moshe and the Yeshua and Kolei, the whole community, we're going to probably die. But Aaron we wish we would have died in Mitzrayim. Oh, but Midbar, that one, this Midbar. Lu Musnu, we wish you want to die. Loma Hashem Hebiyo Son Leros Agvel Azos. Why did God bring us out to this land? There's no man's land here. Or that land over there, Canaan. We can't get in. Can't go back. The country is destroyed in Egypt. We can't go forward. Forward, we're going to die here in this midbar. Loma Hashem Hebiyo Son Leros Azos. Lin Paul Becherev, we should fall to the sword. Eventually, people are going to attack us. But no Shainu, our wives, our painter, and our little babies, ye Levas will come to nothing. Hello to Lonushu Mitzrayim. It's better we go back to Egypt. But Yom Yishaloch of a man said to his friend, everybody started murmuring. That means the instigators with Dosan and his brother in law, Abiram, they said to each other, Nitnu Rosh, let's put a new leader up. Get rid of him. Put up a new leader. And Shuvah Mitzrayim, we go back to Egypt. Now, this was Avodazar Kafira. Why? Because when they made an eagle nine months before him, um, they said, let's, they looked at the eagle and they said, this is a eagle, this is a, 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 a melech, asher yelchu lefoneinu, who will go in front of us and lead us. Asher is the same letters as Rosh. This is about the Zorah. Hmm? Hmm. When you take the letters, Rosh Hashanah is Ish, El, Ochiv, Nitnu, Rosh, Meneshuvah, Mitzrayim, was 299, the same Gemachvi as about the Zorah. And Rosh, Asher, the Elkul of Anaim, that will go in front of us. The Eagle will lead us. That's our desire. Even Moshe Aaron, the name Moshe Aaron fell on their faces. He said, We quit. We're failures. Our mission is over. This is a rebellion. Shem, it's up to you. The Fnekel Kahalad Asmane saw it fell in front of all the Jewish people. Yeshua Benun, the Kolob and Yifuna, Yeshua Benun, the Kolob and Yifuna, Minat Tartar, they were two of the twelve spies. 
as far as Koru Begdain, they tore their clothes. They didn't do it in front of Moshe. That's like Pasking a Halach in front of Moshe. They didn't do that because that would be Chai Visa. Privately, they turned away and they tore Kriyam. Because they knew better than Moshe and Aaron what's going to happen. Because Moshe and Aaron were not there. And ain't Domaria Lishmiya. You cannot compare what you see with what you hear. Moshe got, fell down. No, if you fall down after two minutes, you get up. There's no marker left on the ground. We tear Korea, there's a mark. This is going to be a permanent stain against falling soil. And sure enough, your shoe and color were right. The entire generation between 20 and 60 died out. And the Miraglim, the tongue started to elongate, go into the navel. And the bugs and the maggots and the worms ate them up from inside. Terrible, terrible, terrible. 30 days they suffered like that. The Mar- Maragim who used their tongue for Lashon Ara. They knew better Yeshua and Kolev. They did it privately in Yeshua. Uh, most you shouldn't see it because it's like passing an Allah for your Rebbe. But the Torah says they did it. Because ain't Doma real Lishmiya. This is worse than most you can imagine. Yomir Ali Kolev asked Menei Yisrael, so Yeshua and said, Kolev Menei Yisrael, Lengwa Ha'oris Hashir Avar Nubo, the land that we went through it, the Sura Sura to tour it, Tomu Ha'oris Ma'od Ma'od is fantastic in Gashmiz and Ruchniz. In Chavit Bono Hashem, if God wants us, the Hevi or Son of the Lord will bring us to the land. As those, when the Son of the Lord will give it to us if He wants. Eretz Hashir, He is Zovas Cholav and Dvash, the end that flows with milk and honey. You know Zovas Cholav is Gashmiz and Dvash is Ruchniz, you know that. Cholav is what a baby has to eat when he's born. That's the ultimate gashmi is his milk. You can't have, give a baby anything but milk. And the bash is honey. You can live your whole life without honey. Honey is, is the ruchnis. The cholav is basic gashmi is, and the bash is the secrets of the Torah, the Kabbalah, the, this insight. The bash is a land of physical spiritual, and spiritual abundance. Devash, you can get to a very holy level in areas as well, like Devash. Ach, Vashem Al Timrodim, don't rebel against God, that's the only thing. Ach is 21. Eh, hey, yeah, I'll be what I'll be. I'll take, punish you sometimes, I'll reward you. I'll be what I'm going to be. Sometimes Hashem lets Rishoyim have their day and then he wipes them out, like the Moragdom, like the people did the Eagle. They got executed right there that day, Moshe had their heads cut off, 3,000 people. And the Miraglim immediately got this terrible disease with the tongue. Eh, yes, I sh- eh, yeah, I'll give you a chance to do what you want. You have free choice. To say whatever you want, do whatever you have here in the book. You'll live to 105 years old, even being a Russian. The, the so-called rabbi of the construction is Judaism, will live to 102 years old. Unfortunately, his name was Baruch. He was no blessed at all. Like Benedictus Spinoza, his name was Baruch, by Benedictus. But you have free choice to do what you want. Free choice to do whatever you want. In life, do do talk like Shnahara, be like Kolom and Yeshua, tell, have trust in God. So, Elvia Lapian, Zeich and Sadiq Lodish, the Rachel, the oldest Russian Shiva in Eretz Yisrael 35 years ago, when he was 98, lived to 98, he told famous story, he had a people in front of him, he said, you're asking me what is Bechirov, what is free choice? What do you think free choice is, huh? What is it? What do you say? 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 I mean, no one answered. He said, I'll tell you what it is. Free choice is you have, can do whatever you want, good or bad. You agree? Oh yeah, yeah. You agree? You agree? You agree? You agree? Everybody agrees? False! It's wrong! That's a lie! That's not free choice. Free choice is you do not do what you want to do. Because Hashem said no. You do what you want to do is a behemoth does what he wants to do. Whatever he wants to do it. That's what behemoths do. Free choice is I choose to not follow my teva. You do not do what you want to do. You do what you're supposed to do. That's free choice. So in life you can do whatever you want. And Sadiq can follow the Bar Hashem. And a little bit more. Don't rebel against Hashem. Ach, trust Hashem. Eh, yes, 21. Ach, Shem Timur, Amatem. Al Tirus Om, and don't be afraid of the people who live in that country. Kilach Menuhain. They are bread. We'll eat them up. Sar Silam. Their shadow is gone. Eov is dead. It's finished. Sar Silam. Their shadow is over. 
My lamb, I shall be telling God is with them. I'll be wrong. Don't be afraid. The young Kalei, the whole community, even the Sanhedrin said, "These two Meshuganos, you got to stone them." Lirgom, Osam Bavonim. They're bringing the clouds into Sakana. They're making us do something illegal and crazy to go to a country where we'll be slaughtered. We got to get rid of them. They're fanatics, super ultra orthodox, right wing crazy, black hats, Meshuganos, ultra ultra orthodox. They're crazy. You got to stone them. Lirgom. Osam, they're go ram your dads. We gotta get rid of them. They're dangerous people. Kavod Hashem, at that side, instantly, the Kavod Hashem near Bo you can see the Shkini come down on the Bo and everybody froze. <sighs> okay, everybody, so that's enough for today. We have, uh, we're up to, well, Pesh Lishi, but we can't do the whole thing. If you wanna have the everyday shear, go and call Halashan. I got 2,480 shear in there. Every day, a near, new aliyah, Tuesday is Shlishi, Ravi is, is, uh, is, um, is Wednesday, where the number is 718 3, I think 395 2440. That's a direct connection with B'nai Barak, it costs you nothing. 718 395 2440. Call Haloshan, I'm not the only one there, and you'll never get me unless you know my code number. You gotta punch in, um, um what is it? Oh, uh, uh, one 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 o oh, one, one 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 o oh, one, and then if you want to have totus, you punch in one 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 o oh, four. Okay, Rabbi Isaac is on. Remember, uh, we need your help if you want to keep hearing the shurim. We need a thousand people to give thirty six dollars to keep Torah anytime on the air. Isaac is on.